All right, guys, I'm ready, so. You ever go on a road trip as long as this one's going to be? You know, I, I, think, I think I have, you know, you know, over the course of, you know, doing this. I think, you know, we used to have some pretty daunting Decembers, you know, it would be like three, three road games in a row, stuff like that. But, yeah, I mean, li listen, it's not ideal, but it is what it is. And, um, you know, I mean, you know, th th this, it's a complicated deal. I mean, you get the, the schedules done way ahead of time. There was no COVID cushion built in. So, you know, I mean, there's an opportunity to play the game. It just so happens to be after two road games. But so you, so you throw in a third road game and, you know, let's let it rip. I mean, that's how we're going to approach it. And, uh, you know, it's going to take it as a good opportunity to be out on the road together. And, you know, I mean, sometimes when you're on the road, you, you have more time to do things than you actually do here. You know, the guys don't have you know, the, the class commitments that they normally have here, not that they don't do homework. I mean, we have study table and things like that, but you just have a little more flexibility and everybody's in the same spot, you know, easier to do individual meetings, individual film sessions, you know, things like that. So, so there's some added benefit and we'll try to take advantage of that. Was there any thought with Cal being at noon on Sunday of coming back here Sunday afternoon? Not, not really. I mean, you know, just, just uh, the hassle of, you know, I mean, you you know, you you know, you load up the plane, and you know, I want to definitely, you know, I want to be sensitive to Brian Brigger's workload, you know. Uh, uh, so, no, but it's a lot of work for everybody, and not, I'm not, that's just a joke. But yeah, just to come back here, and you know what, it's a shorter flight from there to here, and you know, and and you know, L.A. is also not a bad place in uh, mid-January, so we'll we'll take advantage of a little extra time down there. Are your guys in a lot, any of them in remote or hybrid classes where they can keep taking classes? On the I mean, I, I think there are some for sure. You know, we're doing that for sure. And, uh, you know, and, and we're always mindful of that. Like our guys do, we make them do school stuff, you know, whether it's their, their classes they can do online, you know, or, um, you know, uh, study table type stuff, you know, every every road trip. I mean, they don't get to just lounge in a hotel room or by the pool the whole the whole time, just part of the time. Stanford, especially their their last trip to Washington. You know, um, you know, Stanford's. Uh, I mean, they, they got they got really good size. You know, across the board, and you know, they play. Um, you know, a kind of a system that I'm I'm familiar with. You know, it's a continuity ball screen system, but they they run some quick hitters out of it, and you know, they kind of mask the, the, the those actions pretty well. You know, so um, sometimes it might be hard for the players to pick up on. You know, their little specials. Um, you know, defensively, you know, I don't think their numbers are as good as they've been in the past, but they have a really sound plan. Um, you know, and they have great size, and, um, you know, so it definitely presents some challenges, you know. Um, we're not, you know, taking any game lightly, you know, um, and, and, and we're expecting a great challenge from them. But, you know, I'm, I'm hoping we have a few days to collect our breath and our guys go up there really energized and, and, and play with great effort. Added challenge, or do you like the fact no fans with, with Stanford? I mean, it is what it is. I mean, I, I, I mean, I, I don't know how it could be an added challenge for the road team. I think it's, you know, I mean, I think it's something that, you know, usually, I mean, from my experience, you know, that the the home team usually has most fans. So, you know, I mean, and, and it not allowed any fans in the building. You know, we're going to go in there and focus and play basketball. You know, and and, and you know, the other deal, our guys, our guys know that, you know. It's not like we're going to be playing the game in a vacuum. I mean, it's going to be on TV, you know. So, so people are going to be watching, and and you know, so their fan, friends and family are still going to get to see them. And um, you know, we're going to go in there, and you know, it's going to be a bunker mentality, you know, for for Arizona basketball. You know, we're we're going to have to do to. I mean, of course, all the guys back went through this all last year, but I mean, is there anything else you have to do to prepare them or talk to them about this to get to get? No, nah. I mean, I I think it's you know sometimes as a coach you you can overdo things and you know you can sometimes can create, you know, self-fulfilling prophecies. So, I mean, there's going to be no fans. Big deal. Go play basketball. I mean, the, the, the dimensions of the court are still there. Just hope the refs show up and throw it up. we got 40 minutes to try to come out on top. That's how we're going to approach it. How, how does it uh, help having Coach Rob knowing Jared pretty well, I would assume, because they were... Yeah, but they're, they're running a totally different system. Yeah, I mean, it's, the, the system, I mean, they've, they've been, you know... Apart, far enough where you know there's not not too many parts of the Carolina Roy Williams system that I see in what they're doing. You know, I mean, no, the rebounding could be one thing, but you know, as far as the pace, the defense, the offense, they're all totally different.
Yeah, they have, would you say, I mean, are they as big as anybody you've seen, and do they use those guys? They have. They seems like they have a bunch of six, seven, six, eight. Yeah, I mean, they have some versatile, you know, bigger wings, you know, you know, hybrid forwards, I guess you could call them, and they do a good job of utilizing those guys. Um, you know, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, I never, I don't think too much about it. I mean, I, I think, you know, I mean, it, I, I mean, you, sometimes you get a, you get a, once you get on the court live, you get a very different feel for how big people actually are. So I, I'm not going to make too big of a deal out of it. How would you describe what it's been like to be the final authority on reacting to officiating calls for the first time? Um, yeah, I mean, it, it's fine. You know, I, I, I know all these refs. You know, I've been, you know, I mean, I, 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 the, the West Coast Conference and the Pac-12, you know, work out of the same, you know, consortium. And um, so I know a lot of the officials had a lot of them. And, and, and honestly, I, I really respect officials. I think at the end of the day, they do a really good job. You know, I mean, of course, there's missed calls here and there, but there's there's missed coaching assignments, there's missed player assignments. You know, when you go through the course of the game, so you know, and, and the, as for the officials, um, you know, usually when you go back and watch film, they're they're close to right a lot of times. You know, so to me, I, I I'm I'm taking it in stride. I understand I'm a, I'm a newcomer to this, and you know, I'm I'm, I'm you know going to do the best job I can, being respectful of those guys, and um, you know, and, and and I'm hoping to have. You know, those guys ref a lot of games with me being a head coach for a lot of years. Expect to see you get a T at some point? I mean, I, I don't know how getting a T, I mean, it's, it's not something I want to do. I mean, it's not like I'm putting it at the top of my list. I don't have a checklist, like get teed up, you know. So, I mean, I mean, sure, can you fire up your team? I mean, I've heard all that stuff, but like, you know, wh why should I be letting the other team put a couple points up on the board for free? You know, I ain't out there sweating and running around and, 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 you know, so, I mean, that's the way I look at it. I mean, you know, I, I can't make any points, you know, you know, my half quarters before the game don't count. And, 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 you know, so, so why should I cause us any points is the way I kind of look at it. Mark, few get many keys? Very few. Very few. A guy like Harrison Ingram, what does he bring to the table? Well, he's just he's a multi-dimensional guy. You know, he can he can shoot the ball, you know, a little bit. He can play make. You know, he can he can turn a drive into a back down post up. You know, he offensive rebounds. So he's just one of those guys. He just scores in a lot of ways. So, you know, you you got to be mindful. I don't know if there's one, you know, set thing I can say. You know, if we do this well against Harris Ingram, he'll struggle. You know, so. So we're just got to be sound. We're gonna have to do a good job overall, and and when it comes to good players like that, you're usually at your best when you're guarding them as a team. On the offense end, you guys have turned the ball over the last three games or so. Stanford being a good defensive four. team, you, four games. Yes. What do you have to do to kind of limit your turnovers? Well, I mean, the guy, the guys need to make better decisions. You know, I mean, that that's kind of what it comes down to. You know, I mean, we're not, you know, we haven't like changed how we're playing over, you know, the earlier in the year when we weren't you know, struggling, turning the ball over as much. I know maybe, maybe you know, it's a, a change in competition can be a little bit, but I think a lot of it's just decision-making. You know, you just got to make, you know, good decisions. I reminded our guys, you know, yesterday, we, we're, we're going we're to have, at the end of the year, we're going to be able to put together a heck of a highlight film. We got enough highlights. So so we don't need to be trying harder to add highlights to this, you know, because there's a lot of these highlights are going to end up on the cutting floor. So, because, you, you know, we've had a lot. So... We we don't need to try hard to get highlights. We we just need to uh, you know score baskets and 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 do things that impact winning and and, and th that that's been the message. Now, listen, I haven't we don't have hard fast rules on turning down this pass, turning down that pass. But you know, as we get into it here and and, and, and winning becomes more important and and more difficult to do, you know, that they need to understand that their decisions contri their decisions contribute to that. Kind of like just making the simple play more than. Well, it's always the answer. Quick, simple decisions. Stack those up on each other. They usually a pretty good formula. I mean, I always, I mean, I always remind our guys. You know, we we we, we don't need perfect plays. You know, we just needed to accumulate a bunch of simple plays. And and you know, so we don't. I'm not looking for perfect decisions. I'm just looking for a bunch of simple decisions that add up. And over the course of time, it usually, you know, it usually. If you if you make more good simple decisions in your opponent, you have a good chance of winning. You mentioned how sometimes things are better on the road uh, as far as 
hanging out with the team and bonding, et cetera. What, how, how would you describe kind of the first three trips? I mean, granted, they were all one game, quick trips, but uh, you know, was there anything about them you really found valuable? Well, I mean, to be honest with you, the 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 ordeal, you know, the travel issues heading to Illinois might have helped us. You know, I mean, there's there's sometimes there's nothing wrong with getting a a a, a cause or a situation to rally around. And, um, you know, so, so you know, there, there's lots of ways you can bring guys together, you know, and, and, and kind of help them reconnect. And sometimes, you know, in, in, in difficult circumstances, it helps. And, 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 and then obviously playing on the road provides lots of opportunity for difficult circumstances. With the, all the, especially between the first two games, extra time, do you, do you plan to do anything, uh, you know, excursion-wise or uh, – Taking guys anywhere, doing anything. I mean, no, no crazy plans yet. You know, we'll see. I mean, you know what? It's it's the old deal. Let's see how we play. <laughs> that usually determines a lot. The the coach's next decision on what the guys can and can't do. So, play good Thursday. We might have some options. Uh, and uh, Ben seems like on the road. At least those three games, he's had terrific games each time. Is there? I don't know. Is there anything to that? that, that well, but Ben's had a. He's had a great season. He's having a great season, and, and he just needs to stay the course. You know. Um, you know. You know. I, I don't know if it's may, maybe something individually he likes playing on the road. You know, a little bit. And, and there are guys like that. You know, he and I never had that conversation. But you know, obviously, if your better players are playing better games on the road. It's usually helpful. With him, you know, having some of those games too, are you noticing, especially the last few games, uh, any, anything else defenses are doing against him? I mean, I, I mean, obviously I think defenses are paying attention to him, you know, and, and, and we've talked about that, but I don't think it's anything, you know, daunting. You know, he just needs to get comfortable with it. And I, I think the biggest thing everybody needs to understand, you, you, you – in college basketball, you don't score 26 points a game. It just it doesn't happen very often. I mean, there's been – in 20 some years I've been involved, I can only think of a couple guys that have done it. And I, I was, I sat courtside for one of them and witnessed it. And uh, it just doesn't happen. And 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 so, but you know, so I mean, it, it has no impact on Ben's future. Um, he just needs to lock in and play solid basketball, and and you know, apply his talents. You know, when called upon, and be consistent and and play with great effort. And I think that'll be good for him, and it'll be great for us. 20s and well, or anything? I mean, I don't know. I can't remember, Bruce. I can't remember. They mean, I, I don't think those things. I have to go on some, what do you guys call that, microfiche film or something? Like, I'd have to go back, dig deep to find out. That's been so long, so. Uh, well, you said last night Kerr was okay. He'd been, he'd be back for all practice. Everything good? Yep. Okay. Yep. Status quo, back to normal. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys. Have a great one. See you in a couple weeks, I guess, huh? Well, Ben, how do you feel about this trip coming up? It's unusual, obviously, to play three, but everything's unusual this year, once again. I wonder how your approach to this is. Uh, pretty exciting, you know, going on the road, um, playing, you know, some good teams, and uh, just going to be a fun experience. What do you remember from playing? I know a lot has changed for Stanford last season, but the same kind of system defensively. What, what goes into playing a team like Stanford? Uh, you know, they have pretty good defense and uh, pretty good coverages, but, uh, you know, we have time to practice, uh, get used to the coverages and uh, have a plan. So when we play them, we uh, <clears throat> we have a good plan and play the game. And how do you feel about playing in an arena with no fans again for the first time in a while? Uh, to be honest, I'm pretty used to it from last year, so it won't, it won't really be the problem. It was, it was, it's pretty good to have fans at the, at the games, but, uh, you know, if we, we have to play and, and uh, not having fans, I'm totally fine with it. It seems like you, the way you've played so well on the road, I almost wonder if, if you like playing against you know other fans, and now they won't be there this time. I mean, how, how has that been for you? Or is there anything like that? Oh, um, not really. I like, I mean, I like playing anywhere, on the road or at home. Uh, so um, that there's fans and no fans, uh, it won't be the same, same mentality for me and my team. So. What I wonder, did you, when you look back over, were there any common threads to Oregon State, Tennessee, Illinois, where you were feeling it or it, something the way they were playing you or anything about that that, that kind of got going in those three games? Um, Not really. I just like, you know, um, <clears throat> pretty good teams. And uh, we had a plan and, you know, just took to the plan and 
uh, it happened that I played really good at uh, those three games, and uh, I'm looking forward to do the same thing on the road. So, yeah. Over the last four games, you guys have kind of turned the ball over a lot recently. Coach Lloyd mentioned that sometimes it's a matter of just making the simple play instead of the highlight play. What are your thoughts on that? Uh, I agree. I agree with Coach. Obviously, um, you know, we um we had a lot of lobs or alley oops or passes, even me, and um I just feel like um if we keep it simple, if we uh we just make the right play every single time, then uh, we're gonna be able to decrease our number of turnovers per game. Then have the, I think Coach was saying uh, he felt like sometimes on the road, like it's a good chance to hang, spend time together, you know, whatever, maybe bond a little bit or and all that. I mean, do you, do you find that in the case? And have, I know those three trips before were short ones, but has there been any times like that where you found it kind of been helpful for the team to do that? Oh, yeah, obviously. You know, we had our first game against St. Mary's. It was pretty fun to have a team there in a long time. And, uh, you know, we've been doing a lot of stuff just to create, you know, team bonding, and team chemistry. So we go on the road, we're going to have a nice dinner, like Coach said, and uh, pretty excited for what's coming for us. Right, because you wouldn't have team dinners last year, right? You Not really, because guys... COVID was a bit uh, tough. How would you say, I, I was just curious how you would say, uh, you know, I know earlier in the year, well, and, and maybe is it more so anything you're, you're having faced defensively that teams are trying to take stuff away from you? You know, with, with with kind of especially considering the December you had, you know, how has things changed in the way that you're having to deal with some of the things defensively that other teams have thrown at you? I mean, obviously, um, you know, I've, I know I've had a couple games where I was really hot. So um, <clears throat> every day, not going to be my day. I know some defense going to change their coverages for me when I come up ball screens or, you know, when I'm in trying to transition. But I just feel like it's an, it's an opportunity for my team to take advantage and you know, like Azulis had a monster game against um, against Utah. I just feel like, you know, we have a lot of great players on the team, so it's not always going to be me or anybody else on the team. Yeah, kind of. I mean, do you find that you're it's maybe sharpened in your game in that sense too? That you really have to take advantage of when you do get something. Can you say it again? I was just wondering if it, if it helps you even more take advantage of the, you know, when they are. You know, to trying to take stuff away when you do see something like you gotta you gotta jump on it. Um, yeah, I mean like I like I said, like, you know, we um sometimes it might be me, Christian, or just anybody on the team who has a who has a good game, so I'm not really uh, worried about that. You know, let's uh I just wanna win. So every 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 the person that has a good game, uh we're gonna win. I'm I'm fine with it. You mentioned like off screens of course, but uh particularly with threes, I mean are they coming do you, do you find that it's tougher for you there too, particularly? Are they coming out on you more differently or doubling you more even further out than they were that you've noticed? I mean, I guess I've noticed a little change about uh, how the defense played me, but um, I just got to get back to use what I used to do and everything will be all right. Well, I think, I think uh, well, one thing I just want to ask you was, I think uh, Tommy said on the radio last night, he said the French-speaking guys were were probably joking about him every day or, or complaining or something. He was kind of joking about it, but I didn't know. Do you guys talk about, you know, you and Christian and Umar or whatever, uh, Adama speaking French during practices about things that he's saying or things that are goofy or go wrong or whatever? No, not really. We don't really say nothing about uh, what culture says or anything we just you know uh if some something doesn't understand instead of saying this to the coach or saying it loud we'll just talk in french to see if uh, we can help each other you know in french since we're not going to get happy before the game when you look at ucla how excited one how excited are you for that game to play in poly and what do they present as a team well, obviously ucla is a pretty good team so um we, we are pretty excited to play them you know um <clears throat> Our game got canceled before, but uh, you know he got postponed. So we we um we were really excited to play against UCLA and uh, the next team coming up. And what do they do well uh, on the offensive end that you guys need to watch out for defensively? I mean they got they got some pretty good players. Uh, they got a good place too, but uh, you know, I just feel like uh, we're gonna come up with a plan, and if we stick to the plan, that everything will be will be fine for us. When you have a trip like this, are you taking classes remotely or hybrid classes where you can log in on a trip like this coming up, or, or do you have to make stuff up? Um, 
pretty much, you know, I have to get a, I have to get ahead. I have to get ahead with my with my work. Um, I just feel like it's the best. Just you know, when we go on the road, but also um, my classes are online, so uh, I meet every day with uh, my advisor and look at look at my classes. Okay. They are online. Yes. So that makes it easier, I would think, when you have a deal like this. You might be away from campus for, what, four class days or something? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Cool. All right. Uh, Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Appreciate it.